important, guys. So tomorrow we're gonna celebrate New Year's, and in the spirit of New Year's Eve, uh, we're going to do a few geometry problems, um, more city geometry problems. In fact, if you remember last time, we did a problem to find the measures of each of the angles in a certain triangle. For example, triangle ABC right over here, and fa based on the angle measures of the triangle, we list the each of the sides of that triangle from shortest to longest. So let's first draw out our triangle, make it pretty big so we can write out the angle measures. Um, so we are given three angle measures for each of the corresponding sides. So angle A is given to be a measure of 9x minus 4. Angle B is given to be a measure of 4x minus 16. And angle C is given to be a measure of 68 minus 2x. Now what we're going to do is, uh, we, we know that a triangle always adds up to a value of 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is set the, va the value of the sum of each of these angles to 180 degrees, find x, and then we substitute x for each of these expressions. And then once we know the measures of each individual angle, we can find we can list the sides from shortest to longest. So, so let's first uh, write that out. Oh, before we do so, we must know a property uh, that states that the largest internal, the side adjacent to the largest internal angle is the largest side, and the side adjacent to the shortest internal angle is the shortest side. So we're just and. Uh, so we're just going to keep that property in mind while we solve this problem. So we know that angles A, the measure of angles A plus B plus C should equal 180. So now what we are going to do is substitute each of these expressions and set them to 180. So the first expression representing angle A is 9x minus 4 add that to 4x minus 16 representing angle B representing the measure of angle B and add that to the expression that represents the measure of angle C which is 68 minus 2x and set all of that to 180 now all we're going to do is add all the like terms so 9x plus 4x gives us 13x 13x minus 2x will give us 11x and what we're going to do is add the numerical numbers minus 4 negative 4 negative 16 gives us negative 20 we add that to 68 we get 48 negative 48 positive 48 excuse me and that equals 180 and we subtract that's plus 48 equals 180 and now all we do is do some algebra and find the value of x, which should be 11x equals, so that would be 2, 13. So x, we get x is 12, x has a value of 12. Now we know that x has a value of 12. Now what are we going to do with this information? Well, all we do is substitute this value of x into each of these three expressions which represent the angle measures. So, this is angle A, angle B, angle C. Okay, so the expression for angle A is 9x minus 4. substitute 12 into that we get 108 minus 4 which is 104 um, we get uh, the measure of angle B to be 4x minus 16 substitute 12 into that we get 48 48 minus 16 giving us 32 and the measure for angle C is 68 minus 2x for angle C is 68 minus 2x. We substitute 
12 into that, we get 68 minus 24, giving us a value of 44. Now what we need to do is check if these values are correct by adding all these, by adding the measures of all three of these angles and see if they add up to 180. So 44 plus 32 gives us 79. We add, uh, excuse me, 76. We add 76 to 104, we get 180. Now that we know that these angle measures are correct, what we're going to do is draw, uh, redraw our own triangle, or we can go back to our own triangle in fact. Um, minus minus four. So we know the measure of angle A to be 104. So we already know this triangle is obtuse. Um, measure of angle B is 32 degrees. Therefore, we write this as 32. And the measure of angle C is uh, 44. So, which is 40. All right. So now we know the measures of each of the individual angles, and all and from now here on now it's pretty simple. So to find the largest side, we find the side adjacent to, opposite to the largest angle, which turns out to be side AC. So uh, that's the sh that's side AC is the longest side. Uh, so this will be the shortest side here. The shortest the shortest side is adjacent to the shortest angle, which turns out to be side AB. And of course, the, the side in between, the medium side, would be, it follows that it would be adjacent to the medium angle, which turns out to be BC. And so that is the answer to this question. And uh, we'll deal with other questions such as this later. And thanks for watching.